so uh, this is the USD Sway, I believe it's the Sway, the Sway 57. This is their new 2020 offering. Comes with the new Kaiser Fluid 5 frame and 57 millimeter stock USD wheels. I think these are just generic China wheels. They're not anything super nice. Comes with a big beefy sole plate, a nice negative plate as well. And then it comes with the USD uh, MyFit liner. This is the liner that comes with it, right? No. No. All right, that's cool. Uh, so I was just informed that these are not the stock liner that comes with it. This is the second skin, right? MyFit second skin liner that comes with it. So, so this liner also has uh, this V in the back that's adjustable so you can move it up and down depending on like what locks in your heel really well. Super thin. I've been skating the Intuition liners now. So this is my current setup. Uh, these are the FR Intuition liners uh, on Razor SLs with wish frames. So I'm used to riding flat. It's nothing scary. I've been riding those liners for nearly four years. There's nothing that would change my mind that those liners are phenomenal. But even in just a few minutes, uh, these actually felt really good. I was kind of shocked at how nice they felt how quickly they responded, so um, it's not a bad liner. Sorry for all the audio, we're outside in a parking garage. It's actually a super nice liner. I don't know that I would run out and buy it, but if I was on the fence about intuitions and something else that's probably more affordable, uh, these seem like a good option uh, along the way. But let's get back to the actual skate as it skates. The very first thing I noticed is when doing crossovers or coming back around on my tricks, I would scrape the rear of the sole plate. It might be a little bit too wide. I think pound for pound, it's about the same size as the Razor SL sole plate. Uh, maybe even the Razor Shift in one shell size up. It does have some speed dimples on the inside of it. That wasn't the hardest part. The hardest part for me was actually the width of the skate. Uh, right here, I have these bumps on my feet, so my feet kind of come down and curve in, and there's a bump right where this bone sticks out, and it puts so much pressure right on the side of my foot. It was super painful. I only got to skate them for about 10 minutes and I had to take them off and it's right where this Royale groove is. So there's probably no way for me to ever skate these skates comfortably. This is the 1011 shell. I'm a natural 11, 11 and a half. So this liner helped me fit into the shell really well. A couple skates I have to size up, a couple skates I can size down I'm kind of in this weird spot, but almost everything I ride a true 1011. So it was good to fit into that. Back to the Kaiser frame. This frame is scary. This groove is terrifying feeling. I'll give this part one second. This groove is really scary feeling. It's very, very tight. It's only about two fingers wide right in the groove. The wheel split is larger, but I feel like this will break in over time, maybe on some ledges, and it'll kind of flush out to a normal H block. But for now, just trying to do tricks, especially coming from you know, the split on the wish frames. I mean, you can see the split difference here. The wish frame has a massive groove between the two of them. So. Uh, my preference is definitely back towards the wish groove, but I didn't catch, I didn't stick, I did do a Royale, uh, even though it hurt my foot really bad, and did a few other tricks, really didn't have any issues with catching or sticking. The material slid really well, it feels like a very well constructed skate. I am a little bummed to see the cuffs riveted in, but I know that's a price point thing to bring uh, pricing down. They have standard USD buckles with the springs inside of them that uh, come back, and they give you a lot of extra buckle. So if you're a person like me who tightens them down really far, you're really gonna have to work your way through the back of that cuff to kind of fit them all in there. But overall, I'll get this car one second. Overall, this is a price point offering skate from USD. It's uh, definitely not you know, a carbon or pro model or anything like that. But uh, if you're a person who doesn't have wide feet or has those bumps in their feet like I do, I would probably recommend it. It slid well, it skated well. I've heard high praise about this skate in particular. I know Montre just won how while riding a sway as well. Uh, Law has been talking about it a lot, so uh, if you haven't had a chance, head over to the Back to Blading channel on YouTube, check out his videos that he's been doing the sway X, I forget what it is. But yeah, I mean, this is a great skate. I'd recommend it if you're price conscious, if you're a person looking for parts. Uh, if you're a flat rocker skater, I don't know that you'll love the Kaiser frame, but the plastic does slide really nice. Uh, if you're looking for something new and you just want to try a new skate and not blow out the bank, it's not a bad option. So. Hopefully you enjoyed the tricks, hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm sure a lot of more people are going to be reviewing them, but I just was fortunate enough to get my hands on a pair today when I showed up at the parking garage. So I definitely recommend it. It'd be interesting to see how they skate on ledges and how well this plastic holds up over time for a moment. To see how these hold up on ledges over time and rough concrete, it'd be really interesting to see kind of what the fade looks like. But overall, I don't know, I'm stoked. The colorway is fantastic. You did a good job, USD. Uh, just for sure.
and give them sort of the intuitions in them and see what they look like. Also, uh, these FR intuitions, they only have two lace holes on them. So there's no 45 lace hole or lower lace hole. Uh, I actually really dislike that about them. I like how the toe box feels and I like the material, but I need more lace holes on this. So they're supposed to lace into the shell. That doesn't look terrible. It's not a bad setup. Uh, I think I like the black liner more. I'm not a fan of big white skates. They tend to blow out and look really huge, but uh, that's it. Make sure to check out anybody else who's promoting these. I'm sure Loco's gonna do a review on them. Uh, head on, maybe doing a review on them. Law, maybe doing a review on them. Seems like a good skate, worth the money. Enjoy.